Alright guys, so this is my little sister Sammy. She has some of the same uh, history um, as I do. Uh, this topic is about sobriety and fitness. So, um, Sammy is a new recovering addict um, in recovery. Sammy, how long do you have clean time? Going on eight months. Going on eight months. Yeah. So this topic that I wanted to talk about is, is something that's deep, deep with me. Um, it's what changed my life getting into the gym. So fitness, finding fitness uh, through sobriety or finding sobriety through fitness, either one. So uh, this topic is about fitness helping you stay sober or helping you get sober. Mm -hmm. um, in my case, it helped me get sober and then helped me stay sober. So Sammy, how has, first of all, how have the last eight months been with you? Um, well, I just recently got back into uh, fitness again. So I worked out pretty regularly before I got clean, um, but I wasn't really, I didn't really have a healthy relationship with the gym. Um, it was something that I did and I wasn't always consistent with it. I would work out every day, sometimes for two hours, uh, for a week or two, and then I wouldn't work out for five days or a week. Um, and so I'm now at a point where I'm kind of unlearning certain behaviors and, and learning new ones. And so I just recently got back into the gym uh, probably about a month ago. Um, so for the last six and a half months of my sobriety, um, it wasn't exactly a priority of mine. I knew that once I was in the right spot mentally um, that I would get back to it again. And I'm in a better place now so I can start to take it more seriously. Uh, but for me, my focus was pretty much on um, the 12 step program going to AA and NA meetings. Um, I have a sponsor, um, yeah, I work the steps, and so that's been a big focus of mine, but I'm just now starting to incorporate working out again into my daily schedule. So I work out about four days a week right now, so I'm still taking it kind of light, um, but I think for a lot of recovering addicts or alcoholics, fitness and sobriety kind of go hand in hand for a lot of people, um, especially when you're so used to doing something every day when you're used to doing something unhealthy every day like using or drinking um, it's important to kind of switch everything up start a new routine routine and replace those unhealthy habits with healthy habits like working out so for a lot of people um, that are in recovery I think that they almost kind of replace one addiction with another one which isn't always a bad thing if it's something healthy Mm -hmm. um, and so for me, I think the gym has helped me in my recovery in combination with other things um, just by one, having a sense of accomplish accomplishment and feeling proud of yourself, feeling good physically, um, looking good as a bonus, but to me it's more important how I feel inside. My mental health is and has always been really important to me. And the more I work out, the better I feel. You know, it, it boosts your serotonin levels. It does good things for your mental health. Um, so it's starting to be more important to me again now that I'm doing it for the right reasons. Um, I also think that mental illness and substance abuse can go hand in hand. So for a lot of people, um, when you are, um, so I know for me, when I'm doing something unhealthy, whether it's one thing, if I'm eating unhealthy, usually I start slacking in the gym. If I'm drinking heavier, then those unhealthy habits follow. When I do one thing right, like eat healthy and start working out regularly, all of that stuff kind of follows behind it. So, I mean, that's a big reason why it's important to me and why it's helped me. All right. Well, thanks for sharing, Sam. Cool.
just wanted to bring light to this topic because it's important mm -hmm. to a lot of us and I'd like to see other people go down the same path you know what I mean like I want I want to show people how awesome this life really is so and it is